Hey, Head Squeezers, thanks so much for all the FAQs you've been sending us here at Head Squeeze HQ. Although I say here that actually I'm in Nepal right now, on my way up to Everest Base Camp. I'm currently in Namchi Bazaar, which is 3,500 meters above sea level, which is higher than twice the height of Ben Nevis in Scotland. But of course, I couldn't leave your questions unanswered. And believe it or not, I'm actually easier to pin down than Mr. James May, who's on his own expedition. He's on a raft with his cat in the middle of the ocean, recreating the life of Pi. Anyway, we've got some good ones this week. Uh, we've got one all about yawning, belly button fluff, and why are some farts so smelly? Okay, so first up uh, to a question dropped into the comment section on one of my previous videos uh, by Jacob Wood, who asked, why do we yawn? <sighs> now, most creatures on the planet yawn from your pet dog or cat, <sighs> fish, or even snake. Now, most people think that people yawn because they're bored or tired but actually it's more down to regulating the temperature in your brain. Just like a nuclear reactor, or indeed ice cream, your brain is best when it is kept cool. Now what happens if the temperature rises in your brain? Your brain tells your jaw to drop, and your stomach muscles to pull in, your diaphragm drops, and it means you take a, a big intake of breath, and you flood that gray matter with oxygen, which refreshes all the senses. Now, if you're interested in why yawns are contagious, go and check out the amazing Vsauce video on that one. Okay, next up, uh, this one via YouTube from Causa Scene Films, who asks, where does belly button fluff come from? Why is it blue, and why is it that only men get it? So, Give us a sub if, like me, you get a lot of belly button fluff. It's also known as belly button lint, and it's essentially a combination of cloth fibers, dead skin cells, all wrapped up in sweat. <laughs> Yummy. Now, it's usually blue, gray, or black, because that's the normal color of your trousers or your tops. And uh, what's sending this fuzz down to your belly button is your hairy abdomen. Now, that's why men seem to get this a lot more than women, because by and large, women are less hairy. The hair curves down towards the navel. It acts like little hooks, kind of grabbing those cloth fibers and leading them on the highway down to your belly button. There was actually a study of 5,000 men and women carried out in Sydney. This is actual navel gazing. These guys found out that those most prone to the fluff were middle-aged, hairy, slightly overweight males. There you go. But one thing you could do, guys, if you don't want to get this belly button fluff, is just shave, shave off the hairy abdomen. No? Okay, uh, last but not least, this is a cracking question from George Boy Lawrence, who asks, why do some farts smell so awful? Now, you know what? Particularly relevant to me. I've been sharing a room with a few guys for the last few days in lodges, and it is uh, pretty smelly, to say the least. Isn't it, guys? Yeah, sorry. Um, now, let's get right down to the nitty gritty. What is a fart? A fart is a combination of delightful gases that build up in your intestine and are passed out of your anus. That lovely noise that you get, that cracking noise, that's because of your sphincter muscles rippling, vibrating as the, uh, the gas is passed. So what are those gases? Well, predominantly they're the air that you swallow, which is mainly nitrogen by the time it reaches your intestines. But you've also got some hydrogen, some methane, and the carbon dioxide that's also produced when your happy, healthy bacteria are digesting the sugars in your food. But the stinkiest farts, the smelly ones, the ones that can clear a room, they are down to sulfur. Now, sulfur-rich diets are things like broccoli or cabbage or eggs or even meat. If you've been eating a lot of that and you let one rip, well, let's just say no one else is gonna be waiting at that bus stop with you. Now, just to let you know, on average, the, uh, the average healthy person releases about 14 farts a day. So if you're not clocking up that many, just let them go, guys, let them go. Now, uh, that's all the time I've got for right now. I need to get back to my pongy mates and uh, start that trek up the valley to Everest Base Camp. Please do keep sending in your questions. Until then, happy head squeezing.